Hi friends, Robin here with Matt Man and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to encourage, inspire, and include you in making Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes year round. Guys, it's been a while. <laughs> and we're in a, a new spot in my house. Not really new. Um, the table is just over there where we normally sit and chat with, you know, whatever our beverage of choice is. But I have been busy. Um, I'm, I know I've been talking about it, but I'm hosting my best friend's baby shower and it has me a little bit um, crazy <laughs> for a couple reasons. One, I love her so much and I want it to be perfect. Two, um, babies are a little bit difficult for me emotionally right now. And three, a lot of the people are friends from college, which I haven't seen in 20 years. So I just want them to feel welcome and invited into my home. And also, um, when we were in college, my best friend and I, our dorm room was the hangout. I don't understand why, because it was filthy. Like, like clothes all over the floor and people just walked on the clothes to come and sit on our beds and so I'm sure that's how everybody remembers me and I just want to prove to them that I'm a full functioning adult and I don't have clothes all over my floor of my house uh, maybe in spots of the bedroom but <laughs> so I'm just working really hard to make it presentable um, to welcome my guests and to just spend time with friends that I haven't seen in a while. And because of that crazy that it has created in my life, I have already set the table um, for what it will be like at the baby shower. That's a week and a half away. So instead we're sitting here in my living room on my coffee table. So you guys normally see this TV from the vantage point of my dining room table where we're just chatting, except this time I'm on the floor and here's Bella's toy box and here's Bella's bed. So if she runs around back here behind us, that's just, we're in her space. So, <laughs> enough chit chat. Um, today I have an unboxing. It's technically for a boy age two to four. However, this is a very, very neutral box. Um, I would say definitely two to four, but I think a boy or a girl could receive it except for the underwear that are in here. So that is the only thing in the box that is gender specific. And I'm thinking of writing a little note on here to the missionary, just kind of saying that like it could go for either way. Um, just because in watching like, uh, Kayla Beretta and her husband, how they prepared for their party and they needed more boy boxes. Um, but the way that Samaritan's Purse distributes them is evenly. So you can only get, you know, close to the same amount of each gender. Um, and so I just thought like, oh, maybe it would be nice to tell the missionary, like, if you really need more girl boxes, this would be okay. Um, girls can wear underwear with little leggies on it. That's fine, you know? Um, so anyway, it's a pretty neutral box in my opinion. And it's Easter themed, kind of. It's really more just like um, spring and colorful. It's, it's kind of, items that um, we all have been seeing in the um, clearances recently. I just picked up a few of those that I had and I put them in this box. So let's get started. First I will show you the box. This is my favorite Daiso box. It is a little bit smaller actually than the plastic boxes for Operation Christmas Child. Um, it's the same width. It's a little bit shorter but it's the same um this way and this way and we just lose like a half an inch on top so it is significant space but i feel like the quality of these are great and um they cost two dollars which is the same as the 
green and red operation Christmas child boxes once you include shipping so I just I like finding these in the wild um, as you can tell I do have a bandana in here it's how I like to wrap my boxes and then on the end here I have put a little happy Easter sticker and a little chickadee and an Easter basket um, this not only kind of decorates the box but um, I believe Trish has mentioned this maybe Denise, um, when we stack them to store them, if you have a little something on the end here, um, that just helps us identify them quickly should we need to get something out or add something. For example, I've ordered some whistles that are on their way. Um, I have metal whistles, but I wanted some um, different whistles too. So they are on their way and one of those is going in here when I get them. So I will need to be able to find this box quickly to add its whistle. You can tell I have put the label on here, boy, age two to four. Here is our 107 rubber band. Um, you can use a regular rubber band, but I like these because they really compact the box and keep it on there nice and tight. And at the distribution center, they can add this back into the box if there is room. So let's get started by opening the box. <laughs> And then right here on top, once I open it, here is my letter. And I picked a penguin card. Isn't it cute? You know, it's kind of a chick theme. Uh, so I thought another bird would be cute. And when he opens it, this is what he will see. This side is my handwritten note. Here is my um, email address. That's just for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. I don't check it very often. Only after I send out the boxes will I check it. And then these, um, this is the translation of my handwritten note over here. So that is what he will see right there on top of his box. And then here is how I put the bandana in. It is actually in on a diagonal. If you can tell there, I get these at Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. There are a couple of them that are a little fancier that could be $1.50, but for the most part, most of them are 99 cents. So once I open this, um, here is what he will see. It's not very fancy. Um, in fact, when I repack this, I'm going to put this on the bottom. It's his bag um, and I just, I didn't think about it at first, but when I repack it, it's going to be on the bottom. So I will just start with that. Here is his bag. It's actually a bag from Ikea. They have these all the time. I believe they're definitely under a dollar, but I believe it's like 67 cents. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I keep bumping this table. It's higher than I'm used to, and I talk with my hands, and so I keep bumping it. Sorry, friends. So anyway, this is his bag. I think these are great. Um, they do open up, if you can tell, this is the footprint of the bag. That's how big it is. So it opens up fairly big. I think it will be great for a toddler. It will definitely help him get all of his supplies home. Next is his coloring book, and I have included this awesome Bible coloring book that was on Easter clearance. And I've put in here a few stickers for him. Um, this one, which you will see why as we get into the box. And then I thought this was fun, maybe like a Palm Sunday. He, he probably won't get it, he's two to four, but I get it and it made me smile. And then I actually have two sheets of this because the, the other sheet I stole stuff from to decorate the box. So I just included it as well. So those are his stickers and his coloring book. I hope you guys had um, success in finding all of your Easter clearance items. Um, so then here is another look. Isn't this adorable? Here is his wow item, which is his stuffy. This is a chick. I got her, um, I believe that she was actually from Dollar General and originally $3, so I think I paid $1.50 for her. So cute. Um, 
I just, it's so fluffy. I love it. So there is the stuffy. I also included, this is his paper um, for toddlers. They are not necessarily going to school right away, so I did not include a composition notebook. Um, but here is just his paper for doodling and drawing and practicing handwriting and putting his stickers on there. So um, this is actually from Valentine's Clearance. And then I included some fun foam Easter stickers. I put the yellow ones on top just because his chick is yellow, but there is also pink, blue, and green foam stickers in there. Just a lot of fun. Here is um, another item that I got. These are, um, this baggie is from Valentine's Clearance, but what's inside of it, these are two chalks and they are um, egg shaped and I got them. There were four of them in a pack for 50 cents. So I was okay with that. So he has some chalk to play with. And then here is why I chose those stickers because I also have included this really cute school bus and a fun little blippy character as well as this little background for him to play on. It's just trees and green. Um, this, this wooden bus is from Target after Christmas clearance. These were um, from Walmart's toy clearance that they recently had. And here is his cute little go vehicle. I always try to put something that goes in my shoe boxes um, just because it's fun, right? And you like to push things. Everyone does. I put them all the way up into my 10 to 14 year old boxes. So that is that. I also have included, um, this is a lanyard. I'm not gonna open it up, but it's very soft and silky. It's pretty and blue and yellow. Um, I normally will put a whistle on this, but like I said, the whistle that I am waiting for is coming in, and it's one of those ones with the little bracelet on it. So he won't need this lanyard, but I really, really like to include lanyards, especially for two to fours, because it's so tactile, and it will just help them I don't know, it's not a lovey, it's not even close to a lovey, but it it's soft and they can play with it. I also have included a flashlight. This one is actually from Daiso. It's a crank flashlight, so it does not require any solar power or battery power. I used to get these for $1.50. I have not been back since I heard that the price increased. So I do believe that these are now $1.75. I will have to check online prices uh, going forward to see if that is still a better deal than buying online. So these are available online and at Daiso and around holiday time at uh, Dollar Tree. Here are his toothbrush and his Ikea spoon. I really like these. I get these in a pack of four for 50 cents. And these come, um, the toothbrush itself comes in a pack of five for a dollar. And then these um, toothbrush covers are four for a dollar. So that is where I get all of these or how much I pay for them. Next is his soap. Um, this is my last, what do you call this? Soap container, soap box, <laughs> my soap box. Um, and inside here, I'm not sure that I will be repurchasing these um, because of the soap in question. We're not sure. Um, Sumeritan's Purse no longer has them on the recommended list, but they are not yet on the unapproved list. So they're kind of in limbo for us as packers. I am going to pack all of the soap that I currently have um, but I will not be repurchasing big, large soap like this. I don't know what I'm going to do going forward. And in a way, I'm kind of sad that we can't pack soap for them anymore. But another part of me is like, look at all this space that I now get to fill with something really awesome. So six of one, half a dozen the other. In here is his soap in its original packaging. And this is his, um, what is it called? Nail clipper, nail file, 
and safety pins. This is what they look like in there. It's just so you can see. And then underneath that, oh, I forgot, this is actually some Band-Aids down in there. So, little hygiene kit for him. These boxes would also make really good containers for like, I don't know, marbles or um, matchbox cars or, I don't know, other little Legos for sure. Oh, this would be good for Legos, especially because there's like this little dip in there. If you could find a plate that fit in there and attach it to the top so that they would have, oh, cute. Anyway, I don't think I will be purchasing them for soap going forward. Next is his um, cup, and this is actually one of those ones from Walmart. I got it on clearance for 35 cents. They're originally 50 cents a piece, so still even at original price, they're great, um, a great find. This one looks black, but it's actually navy blue. Not that that matters, I just thought I would tell you. Um, I will get into what all is in here last, so I have a place to put it. And then here is his school supplies. Now this is um, a toddler school supply pack, so it's a little bit different. I'm gonna show you the things that are different for me in a two to four year old pencil pack as opposed to like a 10 to 14 year old. So first of all, I definitely put in a pencil sharpener that is enclosed if I can. I don't want them to cut their little fingers on the razor blade. Um, he still gets the four uh, yellow pencils and the four colored pencils and the pencil top erasers and a big eraser in this cute. Um, he still gets his crayons and a highlighter. But when it comes to the pens, I try, if I have them, I don't always have them and that's okay, but I try to put click pens um, just so that there's not a lid that could get eaten or stuck in his throat. You know, that's awful. So I just, just a little tip. If you can, if you have them, save your click pins for two to four year olds. And then I did want to tell you guys that um, this pencil pack was definitely contributed by so many of you. Um, Angie and Denise and Sonia and Valerie all contributed very important items that are inside this pencil pack for this little boy moving forward. Boop, boop. And it's such great quality. This will still be good for when he goes to school. So, yay, great quality pencil packs. There are only a few more things in the box, so I will show you this. This is a sticker face sticker book. I got this at Dollar General. It includes 24 springy pages. I'm reading the back. They literally put springy. And over 150 repositional, repositionable stickers. That sounds iffy because, I mean, the stickers are adorable, the little faces. Uh, but the repositional part, this is just paper. I mean, I don't know. Unless the stickers are made out of like um, post-it note stuff, I don't think it would be re-stickable. So there is a froggy and a unicorn and a bunny. Um, there's the chick and a lammy. And then on the back, there's some more sticker faces and, and the Easter bunny stuff. So really cute. I got this, I believe, uh, I wanna say for 50 cents at Dollar General. And then I also have these blocks down in there. I don't know if you guys recognize these blocks. These were from also um, Christmas clearance at Target about the same time as I got that little school bus. Now, um, when you get them, they are one more thing wider and that fit perfectly in the box, but I couldn't get the cup to fit in here. So I um, took the extra end off of each one and put it on top. There were also two blank spaces. And so I just took two chickies, cause that's kind of the theme. And I put the two chickies on the blank spaces. 
Other than that, there are uppercase and lowercase um, big blocks for him to play with. And I was so excited to finally get to include these in a shoe box. And the last thing down in the flat part of the box is this amazing book. I got this at Hobby Lobby. They were originally $3. I got it for 66% off, so I paid $1 for this really great book. It's the first um, Easter ever book, and it does have a lot of English in it. Um, see, that's all writing, but the illustrations are so good, and I know that they're going to have their Greatest Journey book that will tell them the story in their language. So I wanted them, oh, of course I turned to the like, graphic is the page. Um, but I, that way they do have the greatest story in their language and can look at these pictures because the artist, the illustration on this is just so amazing. Um, another thing I really like, I was gonna point it out. Okay. Bear with me, friends. Here we go. There's Jesus' baptism. And he's... Okay, it's this one. Um, this is supposed to be him on the, boats with, with, on the boat with all of his disciples just having a good old time out on the Sea of Galilee. Check out this character right here. Can you see him? Uh, that's Judas. He's already, like, grumpy back there. And then... There's another place where Judas is just like in the background being grumpy. Where is it? Oh, look at Judas there. He's like marching in. But then this is what was really interesting to me is that they show, they don't mention this in the story, like in the words of the story. But if you look, Here's Judas like being shocked and saddened by his actions and dropping his gold. So interesting in the illustrations, just not even really mentioned in the book, but he's in the illustrations. I just, I found that so interesting. Anyway, moving on. The last thing um, I wanted to unbox for you guys is the cup. I always stuff the cup as full as possible. Um, so on top here, just like this, this is a little kaleidoscope and it is yellow and orange. This was from Target at Back to School. This is his magic towel. I got this at Hobby Lobby for like 60 cents. I had to do math real quick. That's why I was quiet. <laughs> And then here is a party whistle that I have for him in here. Party flute, I guess. I've tested these and they're okay. They make noise, but they don't make music. That's a good way to explain this little flute. Here is his comb. This was contributed by Angie. So thanks Angie for his comb. This is um, a little fidget, which is a lot of fun for two to four year olds. I got this at Dollar Tree in a set of two. Here is his little googly eyes. I just love these. Like one of my favorite things to put in boxes. So fun, you can make little like, it's a little duck. I love it. I also have his chapstick here. And then this, um, these, I believe, yes, okay, I'm getting it right. The um, actual bracelets here, the friendship bracelets, were contributed by Valerie, so thanks Valerie for that. And then this cutout was from Nikki. So thank, thank you both of you ladies for um, letting me put this in a box. So this is his jewelry, two friendship bracelets. And then um, I put these also, in every box. He gets a cross, and these are the larger ones that I get from Playside Creations. It does have a little hole in it, so you can add a cord to it if you want to. And then these uh, two little dinosaurs, because I thought they were so much fun, they're little neon see-through. Uh, you can get dinosaurs at Dollar Tree, 
but I got these guys actually at Dollar General last year. Um, their Black Friday sale is buy one toy, get one 75% off. So I bought some of their little dinosaurs at that time. That's where I got these. And then the very last thing is his little undies. These are just basic gray undies. And then this is a little mask. It's really little. And I have also included right here, these are a pair of socks and they have Daffy Duck on them. So I thought a duck and a chick, that's close. So this is his little, I don't know, personal care items in here in this little um, organza bag. So that was the box. Um, thanks for coming along. It's been such a long time. It's so good to just sit and chat with you again. Um, let me know if you liked this and hopefully soon, there goes the, it gets me every time. The, um, the ambulances and the fire trucks, just they, wreck me every time they go by um anyway let me know what you think about this box and hopefully we'll be doing another one probably sitting here in the floor until after the baby shower because like i said i'm a little crazy and i already have stuff put out so anyway that's all for today i hope you have a great day and in case no one has told you i love you lots bye